Hi, welcome to autoportal.com. I hope you have subscribed to us and are regularly watching our updates. This time, we talk about the new Corolla Altis, which will be available to you towards the end of the month. I'm Rana Jai Mukherjee, Editor-in-Chief, and I'm going to tell you why this car is so good. But before we do that, let me give you a brief bit of history. The Corolla has been one of Toyota's best-selling cars worldwide. Production started in 1968 and in 2003 we saw the 9th generation come to our country. 2007 saw the 10th generation and this makes it the 11th generation to come to us in 2014. This has been the flagship car of Toyota in terms of sales and it also has been a leader in the segment in India and it's not hard to see why. Let us now talk about a few features of this car and what makes it so great. I would of course start with the design. The new Corolla is very sharp, very good to look at. It goes for an entire new segment. It targets a very executive premium segment. Just look at these headlamps. The design is amazing. This is the first car in this segment to have all LED beam for the low beams. The high beams stay halogen and you also have LED driving lamps. Now let's take a look at a little bit of the design language from the side and the rear of this car. For starters, there are 16 inch alloy wheels. Toyota has moved up from 15. These are the 15 spoke ones and they look very good in gunmetal grey. Let us take a look at the rear of the car because the rear is also quite significant. The rear is almost as significant as the front in many cases because this is where the design language of the car comes through. Take a look at these LED lamps. I mean, these look beautiful. They have a lovely profile over here. All the major indications are in LED except for a few bulbs for the turn indicator and the reverse. Toyota has been putting LEDs in its rear light clusters for a while and this not only makes them long lasting but also makes it look state of the art and very beautiful when they light up at night. Let us take a look at the boot which is one of the most significant things in a car. The interiors of the boot, very spacious. There's a lot of space here. You can put in at least two golf bags or you can put in a significant amount of luggage, suitcases, small cases, whatever. The inside is well finished, the wiring is neatly integrated here, we close the boot. Let us now go inside and take a look at some of the other finer features of this car. Getting into the interiors of the car, quite a breeze actually. Now I'm comfortable inside the interior of the new Corolla Altis. What you see is a very clever and very innovative packaging. You have black but you also have beige. The black also ensures there is no reflection or glare from the inside onto the outside and the beige inside gives it a very light and a cheery interior feel. The seats are top quality, the stitching, the leather, everything is fantastic. There are reading lights here which help you read properly and of course uh, if you are travelling in more comfort then you have the centre armrest, lie back, relax, sip your favourite beverage, all these facilities are in the seat of the new Toyota Corolla. But of course, uh, besides adequate legroom and a certain amount of comfort, there is one feature which must, we must absolutely talk about and that is the adjustability of the rear seats. Toyota is now claiming another segment first. The backrest recline is adjustable. Just pull the lever and you can slide the seat forward and backward for about 15 degrees giving you a new amount of reclining comfort. So here we are in the driver's seat of the new Corolla Altis. Very comfortable, it's not difficult to find a good driving position. Electrically adjustable seats, fore and aft, up and down, a full automatic climate control system, a multifunction steering wheel. The multifunction steering wheel has a large number of buttons for the telephone control, voice activated system and of course a car computer. There is a built-in cruise control system here, automatic headlights, automatic wipers, and of course an automatic electrochromatic mirror which takes care of the rear view. What is missing however in this car is a sunroof. There is no sunroof in this car which we think is a glaring omission for this segment. Over here you have the vanity mirror but what is strange is that the light has to be switched on manually which is again a very uh, funny feature in a car that costs this much money. One would have expected an automatic lighting up system. Besides this the interiors are totally changed, they are refreshed I love the carbon feel that this center portion gives and of course overall the car seems to look good and feel good. Now that we have spoken completely about the exteriors, let us come to where the heart of the matter lies, the engine of the Corolla Altis. 
Those of you who are enthusiasts would also notice that the power plant options remain exactly the same. What this means is this is the same 1.8 litre engine from the previous Corollas with the same 140 PS output at 6400 RPM and it also gives you around 173 Newton meters of torque which is quite good for a car in this segment. The rest is the same. The gearbox options are the same. There's also a diesel engine which is the same as the previous generation but we'll talk about and show that engine to you later. Okay, so here we are now driving the new Corolla Altis and Petrol. This is the automatic transmission model. It is a hassle-free, no-nonsense uh, effort. You can just sit comfortably, put the transmission lever in D and just, you know, waft along. We are driving the diesel Corolla Altis on the highway. Again, the noise levels are very low. You would be surprised at the performance that one gets from this uh, 88 PS engine. I mean, while it may sound to be very low, but let us not forget that it has 205 Newton meters of torque, which of course for a vehicle like this of this size is very good. On the highway, the Corolla Altus feels absolutely planted. The road grip is very good. The steering feels surprisingly for a car with uh, an electric power steering is also quite nice. Driving this car is an absolute pleasure. In conclusion, I would like to say that the new Corolla Altis is a brilliant car. Once the pricing is okay and it suits budgets, it will be good. But what we hear from Toyota is that it will be priced at around 100,000 more or a lakh more than existing models, which is not too bad in itself. Meanwhile, there is no doubting that the Corolla is now the current king of the mid-size executive car segment.